on the microphone. And then we're going to have a Jagger. I think. Yeah. Jagger and Rubik. Jagger, Resident Peach Main. Resident Peach Main coming out from uh, UCLA. UCLA and USC players always coming out here to hat. Uh, close to both campuses, so, you know, it's no surprise. And Rubik playing Robin. Very rare to see now. Full of Thunders here. Again. And we're just trying to keep Jagia away. Quick Nair. Is Arc Thunder now coming come to play? Not really going to get much out of it. Jagia once again is able to play out of there. But now, Rubik's with the lead. Ooh. Knock him off stage. Oh, and the turn up. You're not coming back from that. Oh, you. No. I, mistaken. I was mistaken. That was my fault. Finally, the smash into the forward air. That is going to do a whole lot of damage. Back throw. There's the back throw. Oh, and the turn up is going to take it. You know, it's going to warm it up a little bit. Trying to keep the hands warm. You know how it is. Oh. Really charged Thoron gonna come into play now. That's another 40% here on Rubix. 71 unanswered percentage. He's gotta get something started. But Jakia just cutting cutting off all the options by just closing the gap a little bit too quick. Causing Rubix to not be able to uh, get the wall of projectiles started. Quick little forwarder. Back off. Thunder now coming into play. There's the Nair. Couple thunders there at the ledge, but was unprepared to actually punish anything. Florida, there's the upper. Another. Oh! Hawk of Florida. Sword is now an item right now. Ooh, great. Great much better there coming off from Jagia with the quick forward air. Couple more turnips. The fire not coming into play. There's the Nair. 98%. It's going to be very, very difficult for Rubik's to actually get the KO here. Yeah, just playing very patiently. Back here. Oh, the fire. Opportunity. Oh, squanders in it. Quick dash attack there. Turn up still in play. Oh, and the last hit of Thorne actually taking, actually getting the KO. So. I was sitting here with another 70% unanswered here coming out from coming out from Rubix. I'm able to get some projectiles started as oh second jump into the upper. Great combo there as well. Fire is still charging. I believe we're at three quarters of the way. And the forward are catching the jump off the ledge. Oh, surviving and the turn up again. Repeat scenario, the very first stop. <laughs> Old fire, up smash, not really gonna do it. There's another forward air. Oh, the DI was a little sus. Oh. Turn up catch and get in the, get in the stage spike. Unfortunate. Could have teched it and survived, but Jagia taking game number one. Both players discussing what they're gonna ban. Fortunately, you can't hear them. Oh, yep, it's time to go to the bathroom. I actually heard that in the microphone. That's actually kind of cool. The game must be turned up on the other mic real high. Time to go to battlefield. Oh, down tilt into the Nair, getting another down tilt into another Nair. And just like that, 56% has already been put on Rubik's. All right, there's the Nair into the dash attack. Into the backer, I believe. Nope, he does jump. Time to drop the turn up, maybe trying to get another stage spike, but unable to actually do so. And finally, some percent on the board for Rubik's. 
quick little nair and jab. 25%, 102%. And Rubik's just trying to get something started here. Quick backer there coming off the platform. He has got to get something started quick, but Rubik's using the platform so well, actually able to get out of the way of anything he's trying to throw out. Quick backer, and once again, more sus DI. Another stay spike there from the turn up, but actually able to survive thanks to the air dodge. But the back air off the roll. That's going to do it. 37%. Eh, somewhat healthy lead. the float to try and get out of the way of the projectile, but Anair actually going to push him right back. Another thunder into the jabs. I don't know, coming into play. Just trying to go, trying to keep Jiggy away. Trying to the dash attack, trying to get the grab off the landing, unable to do so. That's the forward throw. Oh, another Thoron coming out. Tone is starting to look uh, starting to look depleted. Same thing with the Thunder. Thunder's depleted, but the forward smash there at the ledge, and that's going to do it. So now, Thunder Tome is ready to go. It probably has an actual official name, but I'm just going to call it Thunder. Sword is now no longer in commission. So keeping him at the ledge, just cutting off all these options. And Jakeo with some control to see what he can do with it. Put a little Nair off the jump. More turnips, just trying to get more stage spikes coming out. 76%, 130, just well, that's pretty dangerous, but there it is. Float back here, able to actually get the stock, but 76%. You're going to need one really strong combo to get back into this game. Quick Nair, Rubik's just doing. I feel like Rubik shouldn't be, be shouldn't be this aggressive right now. I know he has the lead and all. He's just trying to get the kill, trying to go on to game three, but unfortunately, just I just don't agree with this uh, level of aggression he's put now. Say so then as the forward air comes out, and that is going to do it. has the opportunity here. Uh, the platforms are definitely a factor there. Yoshi's Island is not legal. Do not go there. Now there's that. Nope. 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 Yeah. Nope. Warmer. Warmer. Colder. Warmer. Colder. Alright. There we go. Town and city. A lot more room to run around, meaning that Rubik's can actually um, get a lot more start. So hopefully the lack of platforms that come in every once in a while can actually cause uh, Jagia to uh, close the gap a little bit better and actually get more started with his combos. But Rubis is doing a very good job of just keeping away. And, uh, and getting the ball of projectiles. Couple more arc fires there. There's another platform. Just wait for it. Ooh, the late hit of upper actually comboing into the backer. 68% to his zero. I feel like this counter pick from Jagia was a little bit of a mistake. But then again, we also didn't hear what Rubik's um, bans were, so he could have just banned Smashville and just cut off all of them. Cut off all the small stages, actually went to a, went to a bigger stage, or he could have banned uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. He actually did the same thing to stop a repeat scenario of the first game. And the uh -oh, there, and there's the fully charged Thoron, just bread and butter traps. Another turn of drop. Got the KO the first time, doesn't mean it's going to land the next three or four times. Couple up there, trying to get the forward not really going to do it. Quick back here, but gets caught in the fire. Uh, 
Fire just trying to get something started, and unfortunately unable to. Sword is now back on the field. Ooh, forward air, still not going to do it. I don't believe this is a second jump in this situation. Ooh, the Nair, great save. Ooh, and landed on the platform. Good, actually got something very scary started. But uh, I don't think either player was actually ready for that. So the sword now is out of commission. Can now be converted into an item. There's the Thoron. Not really going to do it. About halfway through on the Thunderbook. Fire now looking deadly. The fire is now out of commission for the time being. Forto, another Thoron. Not really going to do it. There's the Forder. There it is. The turn up drop into the Forder. That is going to do it. But now we have a full sword ready to go. All the books are ready. And there it is. The fire into the up smash. Just what Rubik's needed. Not my entire stock down from Jigio. Trying to get something started, but the zoning game from Rubik's is vastly improved from game number one. Maybe we just need to warm up a little, you know? And drop of the sword. Not really able to get anything started. A couple of forwarders into the thunder. Trying to, trying to combo all that into a dash attack. Someone has been in the training room. Again, just floating a little bit too long. There's the up B. Just going to try and get back. Oh, the float. <laughs> just juking him. So not going to do it. A short hop in there out of shield. Uh-oh. No, that could be it. No, that was unfortunate. I think he wanted to up B in a weird diagonal angle and instead got the side B. Very unfortunate. But Rubik's will take it in the three-game set. Are there other Robins? <laughs> 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 yeah, dude, all six Robins in the Discord are gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that microphone is definitely turned up a little bit too high. <laughs> I should probably do something about that, but um, I'm already sitting down. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is. Hopefully nobody uh, curses a little bit. Hopefully nobody curses too much on the uh, in the later rounds.